login screen for iCloud. In the Apple ID section, you obviously input your Apple ID. That you, well, first off, that has to be assigned to a developer account. So you must have had already logged into an iCloud account on an iOS device running iOS 5 beta. So for this demonstration, I will log into my developer account. You can also hit it's a sign up for two weeks. Everything seems very similar to the mobile me experience, but now you literally have you know all the web applications here for iWork as well. I will post a video about iWork soon once I can, but this is pretty much the mobile uh, interface you can also have here. I, I, it's all very much inspired by iOS. You can view your account, for example, you view your account, get out a photo. Literally add a photo as your profile picture would match something like that. It's, it is you can go to advanced as well. You can incoming and all that. You just saw my email address. Oh my god, I'm so scared. So uh, yeah, let's go over each app. And the mail app resembles very much, I guess, a mix between Mail Four for Line and the native mail app on an iPad. You have here on your left pretty much all your mailboxes along with your junk trash, whatnot, and your extra folders. Here for this I only have two emails apparently, but you know. Go for example here. You can see on your right the whole message and the whole thing. And uh, yeah you can search your mails, of course, as you can tell. Of course nothing comes out and you can just as easily compose a mail. It opens up in a new tab. And from here, you can send this to God at heaven.com. I love you. Give me one million dollars. I don't know. I'm, I completely misspelled that. But you get the idea. You can also add rich text. Like on iOS 5, change the color. You can make it extremely big. Change the font. Add a bunch of other stuff, and yeah, see, you can even add a hyperlink apparently, so we can make the URL money.com. Come, come, wait, what? What's I should say that? So, there we go, you can send the email, send anyway. Everything resembles very much its iOS counterpart, so that's pretty much mail in iCloud. Now let's go over contacts. So you can tell you have a contacts icon right next to the mail icon. You tap it or click, whatever, and you get this uh, contacts interface. It resembles, I'd say, it'd be identical to the one found on iOS and found online as well. You can search your contacts here. You can also click them here. Yet again, this is all beta, so it might, might change, but. Pretty much this is what you have, you can even sort them in groups. And uh, you can add a contact right here, you can add a contact. Uh, God, company, call it uh, heaven, work phone, let's put it on. Home, work email, God at heaven. A comma, I have no idea where this stuff is coming. I'm divinely inspired, you can tell you, but heaven.co right you can home your home URL you can add a new address street at field at Twitter you can tell no Facebook but you can add a Twitter so you can make it at at God there you go. I like the at it looks it, it, I like the whole interface so there you go done you now have God simply hit G right here have God and it synchronizes with all your iOS devices. So I now have God as a contact I can tweet to on my iPhone. See, don't you love the wonders of the internet? The next application is the calendar application, which again I would say is identical to the one found on iOS 5. And you can keep a local copy. Sure, why not? And I had no idea what that means. And yet again, you can sort your stuff. I have no idea what I just did there. Okay, reload. See, it's all buggy, as you can tell. I'd send it to Apple. 
because I want to be nice and help them out. Okay. resources and all that crap. I guess for the time being since it is in developer preview. And uh, yeah, you got all your reminders. Things were nice as your reminders from the reminders app on iOS 5. You could have your reminders here. A reminder to work on the app, which by the way, it's done now. And you can have all that just pushed there. You can sort by list, month, week, day. And you can see all the different views. Pretty self-explanatory and again, identical to, to, to the lion and I was the equivalent of the app, really. So that's about it. The next web app is, of course, Find My iPhone, but um, once you click it, it asks you to go to Mobile Me, and you've probably already seen that. So this leads us to the final one, which is iWork. Of course, you need to have this beta version of iWork that Apple gave the developers today installed on your iOS device to access the documents. And again, this syncs between all your devices running the same iCloud account. So it's all, you know, documents in the cloud, how Apple sent them your keynote, right? So basically iWork, it gives you all the different presentations you have on your device. I'll only be able to show you keynote and numbers since pages isn't working for some reason on my phone. So start with keynote, right? So any presentation you make synchronizes between all your devices. So from here, you can hit download, I guess. Keynote 09, and it downloads your file. Uh, 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 it's weird that it won't let you preview it. I thought it did, but anyway, just showing you how this all works. It created in a file for download. Creates the file for download apparently. I guess it's another bug in the system. It's another bug in the system, but I want to see if it lets you like preview. Well, won't actually let you duplicate, download a pre presentation, download. Oh well. Pages, of course, you get pages for iOS to learn more, etc. The numbers. See this one downloads. Number zone on. And it's kind of funny, it's called Number Zone 9 one. Really, it's not 2009 that we renewed it. There we go, at least something worked. Right? You can open up preview, I would imagine. What the hell is happening here? Must be wondering why I have so much so much clutter. Let's see. Okay. That thing went there. Well, okay, there we go. So here is your actual thing. See, I made this my checklist, March 9th, talk your mom. See, you can see that, admire it for a second. But yeah, that was created on an iOS device, and now I have it on my Mac. That's the transparency of the barrier between both devices are now, like, disappeared with iCloud, pretty much. So all your documents, um, and there's also um, uh, the developer API, so developers can implement this in their app, so... In the very near future, every single app will be intertwined between devices. So whenever you edit something on your iPhone, it'll sync between your I iPad and Mac. So everything will just be a happy, awesome Apple ecosystem, which is like Steve Jobs' dream. So that's pretty much it for iCloud. That's what developers have right now. That's what you can do. And you can tell there's uh, a few beta bugs and glitches uh, everywhere, as it is developer beta. You can tell by the login screen, it's just beta, like the most prominent thing and the login screen says beta. So pretty much this is what it is. So if you enjoyed this video please I would really admire you. I would beg you please please subscribe, like, favorite. It really helps me out. Helps me out as I am molested at home. Wait, I, I, I should not have said that. Really. Yeah I went too far. Yeah. And uh well thanks for watching the video. Watch my other videos. Subscribe. Follow me in Google Plus because I don't care about Facebook or Twitter anymore. You can do that because I want to be cool. Uh, have the description down in the genital area. Yeah. Thanks for watching the video. Goodbye.